Welcome to a dramatic reading of an old anime post from 20 years ago. This is from a discussion on Rec Arts Anime Misc, a news group, yeah, it's that old, talking about what anime we'll be watching in 10 years from then. So in other words, 10 years from ago from now, 10 years from then. And there's some interesting conversation back and forth. And then we get a little something from one of the people involved. And uh, to protect the innocent, we're going to just go with, um, just go with some, you know, first names. The topic is, what anime will we still be watching 10 years from now? Reply by Isaac. The earlier post was about recommending Escaflone, Evangelion, Gundam Wing, and Utena. Isaac replies, but would you guys be watching any of these 10 years from now? 10 years from now, all of those series will be long over, and you will have already seen them in their entirety as many times as you can. Take! Except maybe Utena. Very few anime series have multi-decade endurance. Sazai-san is, in my opinion, on its last legs, the death of its creator. But no one here watches it anyway. Lupin III has passed through its first really major hurdle, the death of Yamada Yasuo. If he can be replaced, anyone can. It's possible Lupin III will still be around ten years from now. What about younger shows? Well, Gundam. I don't know if this one can make another ten years. I wouldn't count it out, but as of right now, I wouldn't be even money on it. In any case, if it's around, it will be some sort of Shin Gundam OJ series in some alternate universe slash timeline unrelated to anything we've seen. Macross. I'd give Macross about the same odds as Gundam. It's currently more successful, but doesn't have the sheer force of Bandai behind it. City Hunter. This show might become the next Lupin the Third. The recent City Hunter specials suggest it might. On the other hand, how old is Kamiya Akira getting? I bet even money on it being around 10 years from now, but that's mostly just my personal bias. Kimigori Orange Road. This would be a long shot. I don't think there's anywhere near enough support for one movie a year, especially 10 years from now. I'd bet against it, although the Shin Kimigori Orange Road movie was a pleasant shock. Dragon Ball? I don't think so. With the disappointment of Dragon Ball GT, it shows it can't outlive the end of the manga much. Sailor Moon? I doubt it. In a real sense, Cutie Honey F should be called the sequel to Sailor Stars. Have you seen it? However, since everyone seems to have jumped onto other projects, I don't see anyone reviving this series. Tenchi Moyo? No way. Not ten years. Slayers, I'd bet against it. I would guess its popularity cycle will more or less follow Sailor Moons, which would imply its number is up before another decade. So, yeah, that didn't work out very well for those particular set of recommendations. To be clear, says Isan is still going strong. Um... You know, it's been going on for decades, just as popular as it, um, pretty much as it ever was. Um, uh, he was right, Lupin III is still around, it's certainly still around. Um, Gundam, <laughs> yeah, it's doing fine. Macross, also doing fine. City Hunter, City Hunter could be the next Lupin III, what? I mean, there are a couple of things, but, uh... Um, Kimigori Orange Road against, uh, was actually quite accurate and uh, unlikely, but then no Dragon Ball, no Sailor Moon, no Tenchi Moyo, not possible, um, and, uh, Slayers will just be just like Sailor Moon, it'll just be, fade out, yeah. Not so much, sorry.